Just make yourself comfortable. It's good to sit in a position where your hands and feet are not touching. In an open position, open to receive. And then just put your attention on your breath. Close your eyes. Breathe in. Breathe. Take another deep breath, breathe in, breathe out. And just keep breathing in and breathing out. Remember there's nothing for you to do. There is nowhere for you to go. You are a human being, not a human doing. And as a human being, you need to be, be in the moment, be in the present, be at one with your breath. And I want you to breathe in to a count of four, just breathe in on the count of one, two, three, four, hold that for a count of eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now breathe out to a count of four. That's it, just let that go. You don't need to count because I'm counting for you. And I want you to take a few minutes and just keep Breathing in to a count of four, holding it to a count of eight. And now breathe out more slowly to a count of eight. I'm going to let you count in your head. Breathe in to a count of four. Hold it to a count of eight. Exhale to a count of eight. As you continue to do this, I want you to think of your stomach. Rather like a pair of bellows, I want you to put one hand directly below your navel and the other hand directly above. And often as we breathe, we're just inflating and deflating the space above our navel. But I want you again, as you breathe in to that count of four, breathe in. Take a breath and make sure that you're filling up that space below and above your navel. Hold it for that count of eight. And now as you exhale, empty the bellows from below the navel first and then above. For a count of eight. And then take that breath in for a count of four and fill up the bellows below your navel and above your navel. Push both those parts out, fill them up with air. Hold for a count of eight. Exhale and empty, empty those bellows for a count of eight. Keep your attention on filling up the bellows both below and above the navel for a count of four. Holding it for a count of eight. Emptying those bellows fully for a count of eight. Do that even more, that's it. Fill up the bellows for a count of four. 
hold it. Hold it beautifully, perfectly, easily, effortlessly for a count of eight. Empty those bellows for a second count of eight. Slowly let go, let it all go. Let go, let go, let go. The most important words in the world are let go. Letting go is the opposite of holding on. You are letting go of anxiety, letting go of stress, letting go of worry. And as you let go of worry and anxiety, and stress, you're learning something new, you're learning. When you hold worry in your mind, your mind reacts as if that worry is real. When you think about the worst possible outcome, your mind reacts as if that worst possible outcome was already happening when you watch scary news scary movies. It feels so real. And when you watch something calm, when you listen to music tinkling, when you hear birdsong, when you walk barefoot on grass or sand, when you connect with nature and allow yourself to be a human being, not a human being being at one with birdsong, or running water, or nature, or just being at one with your breathing, being at one with the bellows, filling, emptying, emptying, and filling. You are teaching your body calmness. You're teaching your body to forget about the worst possible outcome because you know something? Apparently only 4% of what we worry about is ever likely to happen. 4%. 4% of your worries. Some of us put so much energy on that 4%. We feel like it's already happened and it may never happen. You are a human being. As a human being, you are resilient and strong. You have extraordinary coping skills. You have phenomenal coping skills. You have impressive coping skills. You have remarkable coping skills. You are able to cope with whatever life has to offer. You cope beautifully, superbly, phenomenally with anything life has to offer. You remember these words, this will pass. You see joy and pain, they're like the weave of a cloth. You have one and the other, love and loss. They kind of all weave together. But as you focus on the fact that you have an ability to feel joy, to feel gain, and to always focus on what is good in your life, including your phenomenal, incredible, impressive, exempt, coping skills as you focus on that you understand whatever you focus on you get more of you focus on peace you choose peace so go ahead now take your two fingers and press them in between your eyebrows I want you to install peace to impress upon yourself peace. Install and impress upon yourself that you 
can do peace and calmness. Instruct your body to go to peace and calmness. Impress upon your body your natural ability to choose peace and calmness. Install in yourself your ability to choose peace and calmness. Instruct your mind and body to choose peace and calmness. Impress upon yourself your ability to choose peace and calmness. And now call in, code in peace. Imagine holding in your hand a symbol of peace. Maybe a beautiful pink crystal, maybe an imaginary dove. Maybe something that just symbolizes peace to you. Maybe that sign of love, peace, freedom. Maybe a favorite ornament, a favorite photo of a baby sleeping, feeling peace because you were that baby once as a baby, the baby you were. You could feel peaceful anywhere in noise, in light, in dark, in heat, in cold, whatever was going on. Babies just let it all go. And when they need to relax, they relax. When they need to sleep, they sleep. And you were born not knowing what worry was, not knowing what anxiety was. When you're a baby, you were born with only two fears, the fear of loud noises and the fear of being dropped. Every other fear has been acquired as you remember that little baby, they could sleep anywhere, relax, anywhere, relax in their parents' arms, relax, sleeping, sitting, lying. You could relax anywhere. As you remember that, you are reactivating, remanifesting, regenerating, recoding into yourself the ability to let go. The most important words, let go, let go of worry, let go of future pacing, let go of the worst possible outcome and instead think of the best possible outcome. Because worrying never made anything better. We never changed anything. And letting go, breathing, doing your bellows, being the human being that you are, allows you to cope better. I want you to just move your shoulders from side to side, just sway. And as you sway, you're letting go of that old conditioning, letting go of the worst possible outcome becoming an optimistic by nature, becoming optimistic, focusing on the best possible outcome, knowing that whatever you focus on, you get more of. And you focus on feeling good, feeling amazing, feeling wonderful. You focus on the fact that you have and will always have phenomenal coping skills, extraordinary coping skills, impressive coping skills, awesome coping skills. You focus on the best possible outcome. You focus on being, breathing. The first thing you did when you came onto the planet was took a breath. And you've been taking a breath ever since. Take a breath now, really take that breath in and then let go. The most important word to let go, let go, let go. And just one more time for a count of four. Take in that breath, that's it, take it in, fill up the bellows. For a count of eight, hold it. Just be, 
Just be, just be, just be, just be, and be, and be. And now let go, exhale for a count of eight. Feeling calm, feeling chilled and understanding that being calm and being chilled is a skill that you were born with, that you are easily reactivating with practice. Being super chilled is a skill that you were born with. Calling in calmness is a skill that you were born with. And you are reactivating, remanifesting, regenerating these skills right now and forever just by thinking of them. Remembering you were born able to chill, able to calm, able to relax. And for the rest of your life, you have regenerated, reclaimed that skill, the skill of relaxing, the skill of being chilled, the skill of being calm. It is your chill skill. One more time, put your fingers between your eyebrows and impress upon yourself your chill skill. Code in and call in these chill skills. And then just rock. And as you rock, release, erase, eradicate negative skills and habits and impress, instruct, install, code in, call in the habits of calm. Calm is a choice. You don't go to calm. You don't look for calm. You don't search for calm. You don't find calm. You allow it to come to you. You're not going anywhere. You are just being and as you be calm is dropping down upon you descending down it's like a mist a beautiful mist of calm a beautiful mist of chill a beautiful mist of relaxation that descends upon you covers you envelops you bathes you in chilling relaxing calming for the last few minutes, remember you are a human being. Don't have to go anywhere, find anything, do anything. You just allow calmness to descend upon you and stay with you. Relaxation comes to you, descends upon you like a mist, covers you, envelops you like a warm blanket. Being chilled, super chilled, comes to you, stays with you. You call it in, reactivate it anytime. And you know that you have this skill now, this chill skill, the skill of being chill is in you. You don't go anywhere, you call it in, code it in. It's there for you, it's your skill. It's so much more than what you do. It's who you are now. Feeling amazing, feeling chilled, feeling relaxed, feeling calm, and feeling deeply proud of yourself because you've done this for yourself and you will do it over and over again. And it isn't what you do. It's who you are, super chilled, super relaxed, super calm, super positive. And all your cells are so happy that you gave yourself this gift of calmness. So feeling amazing. Come back into the room, open up your eyes, but know that you can keep your eyes closed and stay in this calm place for as long as you want to. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow to install and code and call in and rewire and repeat this wonderful habit 
We make our habits. Our habits make us. And this habit you are making is the making of you. See you tomorrow.